going on everybody this is lady luck here again okay this got to be the last video of my segment oh this is so exciting i am so ready for uh dr strange 2 and i have reacted to another trailer um for the movie i am just a huge fan i don't i don't know if it's because of the whole doctor thing or just because he's so awesome but either way <laughs> as you can see uh this is scarlet witch she is a nexus being in the marvel universe and you know we just we just love them we do i'm so excited about this movie so we're gonna check out this video it was just posted up yesterday Arr! ah let's see what this is about what is grief if not love <laughs> <laughs> Part of the madness of the multiverse is we get to see different <laughs> realities. And we see different versions primarily of Doctor Strange, but we do see other versions of Wanda Maximum. Total disclaimer, I would love to be in any Marvel movie or Marvel show on Disney Plus, period. I don't even have to have speaker lines. Just tell me what to stand and put me in a uniform. <laughs> ah, it's so awesome. Oh, okay. Part of the madness of the multiverse <laughs> is we get to see different realities. And we see different versions primarily of Doctor Strange, but we do see other versions of Wanda Maximoff. Ah! I think WandaVision was this journey of her for the first time taking her own life into her own hands. And it was fun transitioning from her experience to this movie. You could use an Avenger. There are other Avengers. <laughs> get you back on the lunchbox. Bring Bella what do you know about the multiverse? We wanted to satisfy the WandaVision fans and take Bam, them to the Raven. next level with the character they love. It was fun just looking at it from a different perspective. The multiverse. He has had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. We need you. <laughs> It's magical. She owns that character so well. It's a very powerful oh, performance Genesis. with a very powerful character. <laughs> In the multiverse, there are alternate versions of everyone. It gives the characters a unique opportunity to meet themselves, to recognize qualities that they may have been blind to. The fate of the multiverse depends on us. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Cosmic Marvel and MCU. Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and we have yet another new trailer featurette from Marvel Studios today. Marvel Studios has been releasing a ton of new trailers with a ton of new footage for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, including oh, some man. pretty decent-sized spoilers. Like yesterday and this morning, Marvel Studios released an official TV spot that showed us a look at Professor Xavier's gold chair and... And they showed us Captain Peggy Carter. And you have to think, if they're showing us these cameos only in the TV spots, what further cameos await us inside the actual movie? It's definitely super oh exciting, so let's go ahead and goodness. break down this new footage that we got today. A lot of new footage containing the Scarlet Witch. And I think they might it actually give a clue here on why chair. Wanda is going to actually be the true villain. Kind of the reason behind her motivation to go on her rampage. So let's oh dive into God. it. And of course, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So this new featurette from Marvel Studios is titled Wanda Returns. And it actually starts off with the voice of Vision. He hits us with his famous line that he told Wanda in WandaVision, what is grief if not love persevering? Telling us that grief yes. is going to be a big part of Wanda's story in Multiverse of Madness, but this we already knew. Yes, Wanda is going to be grieving because of the loss of her kids, but I think some of us are forgetting Vision. The trailers really focus on her kids, including this trailer, but this one focuses a little bit more on Vision as well. Now, in this trailer, we actually get some narrative from Kevin Feige himself, and he says that part of the madness of the multiverse is that we get to see different realities, and we see different versions, primarily of Doctor Strange, talking about different variants, but we do oh, see man. other versions of Wanda Maximoff. Now, in this featurette, we actually see a... Can someone please expand more on the Doctor Strange with the third eye? Is no one going to do a full breakdown just on that one version alone? Come on, man. 
lot it, of it, he keeps glossed Wanda over with her kids and she's at her old house <laughs> kind of the now we know eye. from the official trailer that these are dreams that she is having however they look to be pretty real meaning that Wanda is actually going to believe that they are real until she actually wakes up from this dream but it kind of might be a thing where it's getting kind of hard to determine dreams from reality and this could actually tie into the end credits of one division where Wanda is studying the dark hold and she hears the voices of her kids that combined with her having these dreams almost visions that seem real could be the reason why she starts to explore <laughs> the multiverse in search for her kids now Kevin Feige mentioned variants of Wanda and in this trailer and in other trailers we actually see Wanda with her own variant and I think that this variant wow. is up to no That's good now Wanda is not supposed to be the Scarlet Witch the Scarlet Witch is not supposed to exist according to Agatha Harkness and if they kind of stick true to what? the comics a little bit there should only be one Scarlet Witch throughout the entire multiverse meaning every different variant of Wanda is not going to be a Scarlet Witch they'll be powerful but not the Scarlet Witch that is our Wanda which is why I actually right. think one of these variants of Wanda could be coming to our Wanda and nobody knows you like yourself so I think this variant is actually going to manipulate our Wanda into kind of tearing apart the multiverse going universe to universe killing people killing the Illuminati doing whatever they can to get her kids back I've mentioned it before and I still think okay so that makes sense because Scarlet Witch is a nexus being so that means that if she doesn't change in any universe she's still the same person but Wanda Maximoff could be variants I'm assuming the, the human form but Scarlet Witch herself is a nexus being so there's no variant of Scarlet Witch but that could be variants of Wanda Maxima. That's crazy. It's true. I think the Darkhold is going to be manipulating her just up. The Godfather is about family. You're there for me. I'm there for you. We have to make this film. Yeah, I don't. I it's don't going to be videos. manipulating her just a little bit, almost tainting her with an evil spirit. I think this combined with an evil variant of Wanda is kind of what sends our Wanda over the edge and makes her kind of go on this killing spree to do anything to get her kids back. And Vision, because they actually show Vision quite a lot in this trailer. We even see footage of Wanda having to kill him in Avengers Infinity War. So the grief is still a very big thing. Yes, we went through it in WandaVision, but it is not done for Wanda. If anything, it's about to get a lot more stronger. Again, to the point that she would do anything to get her family back. Now Sam Raimi speaks in this trailer as well and he says that this movie is going to give characters the opportunity to meet themselves and recognize qualities that wow. they may have been blind to. Now that can go both good or bad. There could be some great qualities that you didn't realize you had that kind of are brought out when you see a different better variant or a worser more bad variant of yourself could make you realize hey I have some of that in me too and it's not so good. And Wanda is extremely powerful most likely the most powerful yeah, being in is. the entire multiverse. And a bad quality yeah. that could come with that is the ability to kind of just do whatever you want because nothing can get in your way. For example, we have a new scene here of the Scarlet Witch, actually Ooh, several Marvel. new scenes of Wanda attacking the Carmitage and Doctor Strange and Wong and the rest of the sorcerers. In fact, if you freeze frame right here in this new trailer, you can actually see as Wanda shoots up into the air, she is leaving from the Carmitage and it is on fire and in destruction in the back Background. And we actually oh. see some new scenes of her flying through the air, throwing out attacks, I'm assuming, against the Carmitage again. Because we've seen the scene where the entire Carmitage, all the sorcerers, are looking up into the sky, and we've seen Scarlet Witch in the sky. So that has to be right before she attacks. And judging on these scenes, she attacks from the air, goes down, fights on the ground, and then she leaves, probably once she defeats everybody. Now, there is one oh, very man. peculiar scene in this trailer. At the very end, it quickly flashes between different versions of Wanda. Some of these may be the same, some of these may be variants. It goes from her at her house where we see her with all the trees, to her in her Scarlet Witch crown, to her covered in blood which I actually think is a variant. Then it shows her in her house and she slowly turns and looks at the camera. Could she, she be breaking breaks the fourth, the fourth wall? wall here? Now it's a multiverse <laughs> film, anything is possible, in fact they could even acknowledge our universe in a very very funny way. They could pull it off, I don't think they will, but they could. But she is clearly looking into the camera here and it makes you wonder 
wonder if she's gonna kind of pull a Deadpool. This is a true office <laughs> fashion look Deadpool. into the camera moment. And briefly speaking of the office, fingers crossed John Krasinski shows up as Mr. Fantastic. But why would she be looking into the camera? Well, she's nice. either going to be breaking the fourth wall in some way, shape, or form, or perhaps she's just simply turning and looking at somebody, and that's the way the camera decided to shoot it. But I really hope it's actually breaking the fourth wall here. I think that would be really cool in a huge multiverse film. Oh, but a lot man. of these new scenes were of Wanda, <laughs> which makes sense. The trailer was titled Wanda Returns. But I actually think we saw several different variants in this trailer, and I do think it's going to be an Nick, evil variant of Wanda stuff, that's going to be causing a lot of problems for our main MCU Wanda. Hopefully, at the end, it comes down to taking down an evil variant of the Scarlet Witch, and our Wanda remains good in the MCU. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Is that something you want? Do you want her to turn good at the end, or do you want her to stay evil? Let me know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU and Doctor Strange 2 news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Yo, <laughs> this movie is gonna be crazy good. I actually got the uh, WandaVision <laughs> DVD to buy to watch so that I know what I'm looking at when I go to the movie. <laughs> When I get to the movie to see this, this is going to be so good. Okay, that was fun. I have to have uh, a little moment of uh, Marvel happiness because I am a huge Marvel movie fan. I am. I just am. Either way, I would love to be in any show. That would be fantastic. Especially in the Invasion, the Secret Invasion series. Oh, my God. It's going to be so good. All right, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed that. That was just a fun little mental mind break. Uh, you guys continue to stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And until the next video.